Hey everyone, this is AVJV Gaming, bringing you guys my last ever FIFA 16 video, which is going to have quite a bit of gameplay, as you can tell. It's a very long video, but I hope you guys will enjoy it. I'd like to thank you guys for your support on FIFA 16, as now, I think in the next, well, seven days, we're going to be moving over to FIFA 17. So it's going to be a lot of fun to look forward to that. And I'm going to take you guys literally through my thought process whilst playing draft mode, as I've never won it. So if I win it, that'll be awesome, but we're going to try my best. So we've got ourselves the formations, and I'm going to go with the 3-4-2-1. As purely in this year's FIFA, FIFA 16, every time I use that formation, I seem to win quite a few matches. And looking at that selection, I'm going straight to Cristiano Ronaldo, as it's a player I am very familiar with. And I prefer using him over Messi, purely because... He's got the skill moves, he's got the ability, that little bit of acceleration, that little bit of flair, and it just works wonders. Now, choosing a striker was a little bit of a different choice because you had Lacazette, and I know his quality in the game, but you got Benzema, and Benzema is going to give him that better chemistry. So, in any time you guys play foot draft, chemistry is the key. As long as you have chemistry to start the match, you can do your super subs later on and uh, bring on those players, but for main starters always have 100 chem. So, then we go into our right mid position, and this one was another one. I saw Bellarabi over the side. I've used him in the game. Mahares, and then I was like, Isco is the man for the chemistry. Uh, it doesn't matter about matter, <laughs> as I don't think I'm going to go too much to the Barclays Prem. And then the midfield hit me over there and stopped me in my tracks, and I was like, ooh, might have to go for the Leicester City man over there and put him in the middle. He does have some nice stats. And then over here, Yaya Toure just seemed like the natural option as uh, I was not going to go to Cruz. Didn't want to have way too many Real Madrid players over there. So it just literally plagued as a Real Madrid side. So into the into the defense now, and we are playing three centre-backs. Now, playing draft mode with three centre-backs in your defense can be a gamble because there are a lot of fast wingers, and if they outpace them, you're literally done for. But over here, you can see I'm going with Zuma. He's going to be our central centre-back. We chose Matthew as we're going to use him on the right-hand side. And then choosing our final centre-back was a little bit of a tough choice. We have Godin, we have um, Silva, Chiellini, which I don't think is going to have any chemistry links, so I'm not going to go with him. He's straight away cancelled off my list. And then I saw Alderville, and I was like, ooh, that would be quite an interesting one, especially with a bit of Barclays Prem in it. So switch him over to the left-hand side, see if we can get a left mid from the Barclays Premier League and just sort of do some sort of hybrid on that side. And that's for goalkeepers. All these goalkeepers have no chemistry whatsoever. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait on my subs on the bench and hopefully we get a goalkeeper that will have some relevance to the squad. Now, I just want to quickly cover, guys, whilst I go through the subs and the reserves, what I'm planning for FIFA 17. Now, if you guys have any series, if you are my FIFA subscribers... Do leave in the comment section, um, is there any particular series you'd like to see? Um, I do know a lot of people have asked me for the trade and play, um, trade to a team. Um, I'll be bringing maybe the Journey series back. I want to be playing pro clubs at subs. I'm tempted to buy a PlayStation 4 for that. Um, a lot of my very, very close subscribers are on PlayStation 4. So I want to jump on that sort of, you know, be with everyone on that side. Um, but I've got quite a few different series as well. Skill games, you know, pro clubs at subs, as I've said before, all the trading, ultimate team style. Maybe do head-to-head -head seasons. Not too sure. Maybe just get a subscriber every episode and we'll sort of work our way through all the different seasons. That could be an idea as well. So a lot to work with in this year's FIFA 17. And also in terms of now I've got a little bit of spare time on my hands up till around about Christmas. So I'm going to be able to upload a video every single day. And on top of it, I've got my Pokemon Go series, and I'm going to be playing other games like Call of Duty. I'll be literally having a lot of videos for you guys, so please stay tuned for all of that. You'll see a lot of stuff. And if you guys have anything in particular you'd like me to see, I, a couple of people have asked me also for Forza. I don't play that game, but I will learn it just to put it up on the channel. So, as you can see here, I'm in a little bit of a dilemma with my midfield selection. And I saw Kevin De Bruyne, Sergio Busquets, and I was like, his chemistry links were just not what it work out. So it'd be between, uh, be between De Bruyne and James Rodriguez. And I saw Schneider as well, but in this point, it's just chemistry. So I decided, we'll forget De Bruyne. He had a good performance against United yesterday. Um, but for chemistry-wise, Isco and Bale are there. So we're going to go with James Rodriguez. He's got 90 shooting, so he can't really go too wrong on that side. 
And this was a no-brainer. You have to have Nani. Nani and Ronaldo, they link up so perfectly. They get the chemistry. And I'm looking forward to using him in FIFA 17 along with the other five-star skillers. Now, I will also have a video on all the five-star skillers I buy in the upcoming game as I'm going to be doing a few compilations. Uh, it's something I've started seeing a more of a creative side in FIFA, and I'm enjoying that a little bit more, and something I was experimenting a little bit in the past few weeks on FIFA 16. So, anyway, there you guys can see I'm choosing my final player for my subs bench, and I'm just going to go to Bardi because I need a striking option, just in case Benzema does slack. And then I decided to go with Aubameyang as well. So we gave ourselves two potential options to swap if Bale gets injured or Ronaldo. We need a little bit of a quick pace in the up front just to give it that little bit of one-two ping-pong play. Those two would be the men to have up front. So as you can see over here, we're now moving on to a few more players. I'm going to go with uh, Memphis Depay. And then on the final one, we're going to go with Elton. He's a five-star skiller. I don't know if you guys have used him, let me know as well. So uh, there you go, you can see I'm just doing a few different swaps. It did actually take me one whole day to find an opponent. The servers were completely horrible. But you can see I'm playing around with the squad a little bit. I will change it in a split second and I'll put, um, I think it's Rodriguez up in the squad for the Leicester City man. So just to give it a little bit of a change up because the servers were so horrible, I couldn't find an opponent and it did bug me a little bit. There you guys. I actually did it there and then, so that's quite cool. And I think I might do a little bit of a tactical swap there again. Swap back just for the chemistry style and the chemistry link. And then we'll go into our first opponent. So, first opponent's up. Over there, you can see the squad does have Luis Figo, Cristiano Ronaldo, 99 Messi. However, the 76 chemistry will play against this person in the match. And straight away, what I do is I defile my opponents from looking at their squad. So I can see straight away the centre-backs... There's going to be a bit of a weak link. And this was my first game in around about, I think it was around about a few days of playing FIFA. So I was a little bit rusty. And what I like to do is always just get a feel for the game. So get this literally switching the play from side to side, getting a deep cross into the back post. And look at this from Rodriguez into the shot. And it just goes and the keeper makes an absolutely great save. But then straight away from that counter attack, look at him go with Messi, the 99 Messi. He's working his magic in and out, finds it into Pjanic. So my defending was absolutely poor on that one, but he does tuck it away. And then he does a big mistake over here into the 18th minute. I get it to bail. Gets a little bit of a nudge over there. And instead of playing on, I always take free kicks. Because when I've got a squad like this, I've got Yaya Torre. And I want to look for Cristiano Ronaldo. And I was like, look at Bale's stats. Those are all in the 90s. So we're not going to pass up an opportunity. I'm fantastic at taking free kicks. Not being big-headed. But look at that. So, <laughs> I've still got 100% record, I believe, so far in Ultimate Teams when it comes to free kicks. So, we get it equal over there, one all with Bale. And uh, you can see over here, he's pushing down again into Cristiano Ronaldo on the volley. And oh, that could have been disastrous stuff if he did connect properly. But I believe we get that free kick over there. I was trying to set up uh, Benzema and he just didn't get that acceleration enough. And it took us into half time at one all. So, when you look at the stats, we are fairly even. We are 50-50 in possession. Well, shots 2-2 two, two as well. Shots on target, one all. So straight away from halftime, he takes kickoff. And watch this. I decided I understood his gameplay just enough to understand how I'm going to play. R literally quick 1-2 tiki-taka play. And went for the finesse shot. And his goalkeeper, Sirigu, does a great save over there. But... Again, another bit of quick play. Gets it out this time to Benzema. And we're going to do a Bubba spin. Get it past the one defender. Then push it forward past the second defender. And I was like, yes, we're home straight. It does come back after us. Get it into Bale, into the bicycle kick. And that would have been such a great finish for our first, well, first major looking good goal in this match. But uh, over here, he does sidestep us with Luis Figo. And I sent every defender to block him at this point. I don't want to concede. And watch this little bit of a run there. Look, watch Benzema, watch Ronaldo. Both made some really nice space. Gets into Benzema on his weaker foot, tucks it in, and gives us the lead into the 80th minute. So we are now 2-1 up at this point. And I was just trying to find literally these different passes in midfield. Because that's one thing, as I said before, this is a spring formation. So counter-attacking is quite an easy thing. And look at that from finesse shot from Bale. I thought he had buried it into the top net, but it just went wide. And straight away from that, he was frustrated. It was the 90th minute. Sends it to Benzema. And literally, when you get given something on a plate, you will take it. So we did make it 3-1. And at this point, frustration must have sank in completely because 
they gave up at that point. So we won that match quite comfortably, but it was a little bit touch and go in the beginning because I was still just adjusting my style. So I'll explain that also as we get into 17, how you break down opponents' formations as it's a very vital thing in playing the game. So we won our first match, which is a great plus side and is always looking good. Now our second opponent had a guest and they had 66 chemistry, Ronaldo. I believe they got Mahares all there as well, uh, Iniesta, Tevez and David De Gea. And I believe that's Dybala up front, the man from Juve. So anyway, he started trying to do a bit of skill. I think this is one of the players and I literally tried to block as much stuff as possible. Find a ball into Cristiano Ronaldo and look at how many lucky touches that happens here. Literally, he goes for the finesse shot off the crossbar and then just taps into an open goal. So we're going to take the one lead quite early on into this match. And we've got to keep our concentration up because I know that's something I do slack in. I just, look at that. Tevez just gets through, sidesteps through my defenders, goes for the finesse shot. And I think it went for a corner. And that developed into this little set piece over here. Iniesta finds it to the edge of the box. Mahrez onto the volley. So close. And then that... <laughs> Dybala just tucks it in, so he gets the equaliser. So that little lapse in concentration I've got to work on for the next game. But over here we intercept the ball back at the halfway line. Nani finds it into Benzema, finds an open bail who stays on side. Finesse shot off the post. And it is Nani to clean up the work over there to make us 2-1. To get us up to 2-1. And then Cristiano Ronaldo, a little bit of 1-2 play I was aiming for. But Bale has that acceleration. We go for the chip shot. And what a leap from De Gea. So... Half time. We're 2-1 up. I actually don't know how we're winning this match. Stats all point towards my opponent. But nonetheless, we will accept that and we will try running with it as possible because we want to take this uh, win and the title for this whole FUT draft mode. So anyway, look, watch this little bit of play. Isco finds it into an open Cristiano Ronaldo. Waiting for the keeper to come out. First time touch. Chip over the keeper. That is absolutely clinical finishing from Cristiano Ronaldo, and that is beautiful stuff. And I thought he was going to rage quit because he did pause it. But in that process of time, I decided, let's try Vardy. Because we know what Benzema is capable of. However, we want to see that little burst of pace. So let's see Vardy jump on the field and uh, do his magic. And over there, Cristiano Ronaldo fouls it into Vardy. Gets a little bit of a soft pass. I have no idea what happened to his defender. But it goes to Bale. Bale's one on one. Could have gone for the cutback. And I was like, no. I don't want to be doing that as, you know, you're going to keep a little bit of uh, respect for your opponent. And considering I was winning, I didn't want to be such a scumbag in that sense. So we'll take the second win with another 3-1 victory. As you can see, that stats literally pointed towards my opponent winning that match. But I somehow clawed back in that one. And it's just all about taking those counterattacks, using that spring to our advantage. Look at my third opponent. This one knew what he was doing. 100 chemistry. Barclays Premier League side, he had Sanchez, Ramsey, Iniesta as well. I have no idea what he's doing there. And uh, quite a nice squad over there. But I did a bit of skill over there with the Nani and Magidi spin. Then we find a cross into an open Cristiano, finding that space. And oh, what a great save from his goalkeeper. And then Yaya Torre again back to Nani. And I was just trying to work these wings. He connects to Bale, but Bale doesn't hit the target. And that's something that he needed to do. So over here, we actually lose the ball. And we get it back with James Rodriguez. Gets it into Ronaldo. Gets a little bit of a fumble. And you know, you guys know what's going to happen here. We're going to take the free kick. So, Yaya Torre is the man standing on top of the ball. Send it over to none other than Gareth Bale. And he's got even a player that was going towards the line. He should have probably put him back there. And look at that. Tucks it in. Still 100% record. I'm going to end FIFA 16 with 100% record on uh, free kicks on Ultimate Team. So, at halftime, because of Bale's free kick... We are now 1-0 up. And at this point, I decided let's take off Benzema, bring on Aubameyang, because I haven't used him yet. And I want to really experiment with these different strikers. I might even bring on Elton if I'm comfortably winning to just mess around with five-star skills. But he comes down the field with Bale, finds it into Aubameyang, and then look at that, Neymar tucks it in. But it was ruled offside because Aubameyang was behind my keeper at that point. And then over here, we get a little bit of play. Rodriguez finding it into Ronaldo, a bit of a quick play to Bale. Ricochets off his defender, back into Bale, and we get ourselves a corner. And that one didn't really develop very much. And then look at this from Nani. You can see Ronaldo at the top, go for a very deep cross into the back post, goes onto the volley, and I think maybe it was offside. So <laughs> very late on these calls, I've noticed. This is Everything's quite late over here, but look at this clearance. This is going to start right from the back. Now watch this little bit of play. 
Gareth Bale, he's running at the ball. And you can see Ronaldo right at the top. I had to block my friend's game attack because he didn't allow me to use that. But uh, as you can see there, Cristiano Ronaldo, we're going to go down, use the McGeady spin, get past one defender, go for the finesse shot, gets blocked by David Luiz, and then Bale tucks it in for making it 2-0. So we are now comfortable. It's the 90th minute, and that is how the game did end. So three wins out of three. This is looking quite good. So for my non-record and not winning FUT draft, this will be quite a cool one. And uh, you can see over there, we actually sort of deserve that one towards the end of the match. Even though he had more shots on target, we'll still take it. And we want to see what we get because I I don't know what we're going to get. Most I've ever got is one victory. And our final opponent had a good side, 189 sort of side in total. Griezmann, Ronaldo, PK. He had Navas in goal, I believe that is. And that's one player I wanted to use a little bit because I was tempted to use him, but I went with... Uh, my goalkeeper instead being Mandanda. So you can see that he almost got an opportunity very early in. And look at this quick counter-attack into Bale. I can see there, keeper's not actually charging out and we're gonna just wait, take it easy. Near post is so OP and Bale is just the insane player. I think he's a must-have player in any FIFA at the moment because of the way he plays. Look at that, we find Rodriguez into Benzema, a bit of nice Real Madrid play. Finds an open Cristiano Ronaldo near the penalty spot. Tucks it in, off the chest, into a volley. Boom! That's what we're talking about. 2-0. And uh, this final is literally looking like we're going to tuck it in the back pocket and take home the trophy. And then I close this 1-2 play. Ronaldo into Benzema. Goes under the keeper. I thought it was going to go over the bar. And now it is 3-0. So at halftime, we are sitting so comfortable. But this is the thing that got me over here. Watch this little bit of play. We find it into Bale. Gets it, and I was waiting for one of my players to make a run. Because Benzema didn't make a run initially, had to use Ronaldo. And you can see over here, we're going to sort of work our way in. Go for the cross. Keeper clears it out to Nani, who will find Cristiano Ronaldo. And look at that turn into the back of the net. A simple finesse shot. 4-0. Within 50 minutes, we are 4-0 up. And I was like, okay, we're going to go and cruise. And look at this. I didn't watch Pogba. And Pogba is so deadly. And next year, he's five-star. Well, in 17, he's five-star skills. So look at this. There again. Boom. He gets two back in the space of less than 10 minutes. And I was a bit nervous at this point. I didn't want to sort of lose my whole lead that I've been working towards. Get into Aubameyang. Go for the shot. Thought that was a foul. Gave a call for ref. But he wasn't interested. And from this corner, I was tempting to wait, the, you know, run the clock and... I thought that would be a bit scummy to do. So anyway, over here we get Yaya Torre. Going to do a bit of tactical dribbling. Just get in and out of all those players. Find it into open Cristiano Ronaldo. Make it 5-2. And at this point I was like, yes, that's his hat trick. This should be the game done and dusted. But wait for it. He gets a corner. And guess who it is? Pogba. He gets his hat trick as well. And I believe that is how the game does end. So we do pick up the win. And just to confirm it, guys. You'll probably see it in just a second. That is the win. We don't lag out, thank goodness. 608 coins for that. We'll take the win. There's the achievement. First time winning the draft mode. Win all four matches in an online FUT draft mode. I told you guys I've never won it before. <laughs> and we check out which packs we will get. But I'd also like to say, guys, a massive thank you for your support in this year's FIFA 16 and all my other videos. I really do appreciate that one. And also into 17. I'm really looking forward to it. We'll have a trading techniques video out, out I think, in by Monday. As to, it'll be out tomorrow, pretty much. Get nothing really great in these packs. I hope they improve the pack luck in uh, draft modes and, you know, overall packs. But I'll have techniques on how you guys can trade in the upcoming game. And then also we'll have a few other videos that will follow. And including demo footage. I'm going to be making a few compilations for you guys. So be sure to check all that out in the upcoming days. As you can see there, that's the last of my book. Second last pack over there. And we get quite a few res, but still nothing to say that was super great. Final pack. Fingers crossed we get something nice. We get Radimir Falcao. So, oh, I thought that could have been a possibility of getting Hazard. Imagine getting Hazard as the game ends. Never even going to use him, but we got him in a pack. But yeah, so anyway, we get Falcao. Check his price. Around about a thousand coins. So I'll list him up at that. And, uh, yeah, we'll also see if we can make a little bit of coins just in case I ever do return back to this game. But that'll be it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. By all means, feel free to drop it a like. A big thank you to you guys again. Subscribe if you're new for more daily content. And uh, FIFA 17 is literally around the corner. But this has been AVJV Gaming. And I'll catch you guys for the next video.